I'm about to join the biggest bike party I've ever seen before. But this isn't just a party for me, this is an attempt to answer a question. And the question is this, is this what bike culture looks like? Hey everybody, I'm Tom and this is Shifter, a channel about urban cycling, bike commuting, and the ways we get around our cities. And if you like this video, please consider subscribing or even hitting that super thanks button. It's just down, just down there. Also a big shout out today to UMX or Urban Mobility Explained, powered by EIT Urban Mobility, which is a great YouTube channel about urban transportation all over the world. It's an educational channel, but also offers inspiration to me because they've got some great content uh, that looks at uh, solutions, innovation, sustainable initiatives about urban transportation all over the place. So please check them out. There's a link down in the description. It's a great resource. So what you just saw was some scenes from the Tour de la Nuit, a night ride here in Montreal that attracts 20,000 people and it was an amazing event a couple of nights ago. But this is part of the Go Velo Bike Festival here in Montreal. And this is the second part. This is the Tour de Lille, so a, a tour of the island of Montreal. Also, it gets 20 or 30,000 people and it's amazing. These events are so cool. When you're in these events, there's so much fun and there's so much camaraderie. It's hard not to feel like you're part of something bigger. And it's not just events like this that make Montreal great for cycling. Since my last visit here seven or eight years ago, when it was already a great bike city, it's just gotten better. I'm actually pretty amazed how much progress has been made over that time in making this a more bike friendly city. The bike lanes are better. They're more numerous. The connections are better. There are cyclists everywhere. There are the Bixie bike share bikes everywhere. It just feels like a bike city in a lot of places. And as I'm here, this phrase keeps popping into my head that this city has great bike culture. But it got me thinking, what does that actually mean? What is bike culture? So this phrase bike culture comes up, I think most often when people are debating whether it's worth investing in uh, bike infrastructure in cities. You often hear critics of bike lanes say things like, there's no point in building bike lanes in my city because we don't have a culture of cycling. We're not Amsterdam, therefore we'll never be Amsterdam, therefore we should not invest in bike infrastructure. And I understand that instinct. It does feel like there's a culture of cycling here. I mean, we have bike events where I live in Calgary, but they're not this size. So it must be because we don't have a culture of cycling, right? Well, I don't know. If you think about that a bit more deeply, there is a culture of cycling in Calgary, but it's different. I would say the culture is like taking an expensive mountain bike, putting it in the back of your pickup truck and heading out to the mountains to mountain bike. Now, if you're at a party and you strike up a conversation with somebody about cycling, it's most likely going to be about mountain biking. So we definitely have a culture of cycling, but it's a mountain bike culture. But is that culture or does that just exist because we have the opportunity for mountain biking because Calgary is a great place for mountain bikes. So I remember discussing this idea with Michael Colville Anderson in Copenhagen. Now, you know him as the host of the Life Size City. and He's done a ton of work to promote the idea of urban cycling in cities. Urban cycling in cities? You know what I mean? At first, I thought he was messing with me because he was insisting that there's no such thing as bike culture in Copenhagen. His point was that most people there don't consider themselves cyclists. Even though the city is filled with people on bikes and a huge percentage of people use bikes to get around, he said most people in Copenhagen don't consider themselves cyclists. They just choose a bike because it's the easiest and most convenient way of getting places. Now, I admit it took me a while to wrap my head around this idea that uh, Michael was talking about. I mean, when you're in a city like Copenhagen, surrounded by tens of thousands of cyclists everywhere you look, how can you think there's no culture around that? In its last uh, city rankings, People for Bikes put Montreal in near the top of the list for bike friendly cities, not just in Canada and North America, but in the world. And you can see why when you're in the city, there's so many bike lanes and they're adding bikes lanes like crazy. There's great infrastructure being constructed and the city's just getting better for humans, not just cycling, but pedestrians and on a livable scale, it's just getting much better all the time. And when you take part in events like this with like the tens of thousands of cyclists just streaming by me here. It reinforces that idea. But how do you know which is driving the culture? Do bike lanes beget bike culture or does bike culture beget bike cities? Because I think there is bike culture in cities that are bad for biking, but they tend to be cultures of sport, you know, like a road cycling scene or a mountain bike scene. Kind of like there are cultures for other sports, like a pickleball scene in your city. There don't seem to be cultures of urban cycling, which is a much different kind of thing. 
urban bike culture emerges out of the opportunities that are available. Here's another way to think about this idea. We often hear that North America is a car culture and there are absolutely pockets of car culture out there. There are car hobbyists and enthusiasts who build their identities and their uh, their lives around automobiles because they love them. But would you say the average soccer mom getting to work in her depreciating Hyundai Elantra is an enthusiastic participant in car culture? Or is she just using that because it's the most easy and convenient way of her getting to work? Or think of it this way. At some point in most of our days, we're all pedestrians, but we almost never hear the idea of a pedestrian culture. Okay, and one more way of thinking about it is, can you think of a city that has a thriving urban cycling culture with terrible bike infrastructure? I don't think I can. Okay, I made it to the end. It's the post bike ride party and it's a good event. It was fun. It also gave me lots of time to think about this question. And I realized on some level this uh, bike culture question of infrastructure versus culture is a semantic argument on some level. I get that. But I do think there is some risk if we keep waiting for some semi-mythical urban bike culture to emerge before we start building bike lanes and bike infrastructure or even pedestrian and livable spaces. It's just never going to happen. And I actually asked this question to the CEO of Velo Quebec who organizes this event. And here's what he had to say. An event like this is key in building the cycling culture. Uh, of course, we talk often about infrastructure, but celebrating cycling, making it fun and accessible uh, is also very important. For many people, uh, an event like this will be the first time they'll ride in a big city. It will also be uh, the first time they ride 47 kilometers. Events, infrastructure, education programs, you know, if you look at, you know, the different elements of the cycling culture, uh, you need to work on different levels at the same time. And that's what we do. Yeah, I think he's right. I think he made a good point that these events like this and infrastructure works together to create bike culture. They don't exist independently. And I also think he made a good point about these events giving people a chance to like get on a bike and experience what safe cycling can be all about. I mean, a lot of what puts people off of urban cycling, I think, is the perceptions of danger or the perceptions of risk. And so these give people a chance to actually see what it's like. So I think that's important. That's a good first step for a lot of people. And if you're watching this video and thinking about how you can make your city a more bike friendly, I would say the answer is just get building infrastructure and events, and then you'll get the bike culture. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Is the bike on point? No, that's good. Okay. Yeah. I'm going up the crane. All good? Go, huh? All right, I'm up here on the crane. They let me come up here and get some shots. And one thing that's amazing, so this event started maybe 15 minutes ago. And look at the crowd, it's, they're still coming. Apparently there's so many people involved in this that it takes an hour for all of them to get started. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's a bike party. <laughs>